Friday, so day six. Um, and we're leaving Yantai today. It is almost eight in the morning. We're leaving Yantai, we're going to Beijing, and we're at the train station, and it is packed, it's packed, it's packed, it's packed. Um, our train starts checking in, in like five to 10 minutes. Yeah, we are next in line. Excited. Are you excited for baking? Uh -huh. Yeah, I was sad to leave my parents, but this is how life goes. We're gonna have to move on and hopefully we'll have fun in Beijing. It's super hot for the next three days. We're gonna be there, but there, I'm sure there will be a lot of fun. South train station and now we're just getting subway tickets for Evan. I can use my Alipay QR code but he needs an actual physical ticket because his, his Alipay doesn't really work. Um, and then we're gonna check into our hotel and we don't really have a schedule for today. We're not meeting any friend for dinner tonight so we're free. So we're gonna walk around the neighborhood and check out those ancient buildings and see what we find. Look at the sky. Hello! So we're officially going to start doing our first tourist thing in Beijing. Um, it's actually almost 5 p.m. because we took a little rest at the hotel and I had to shower. But here we are getting very close to a tourist spot which is I think it's a historical district and I think they have some historical buildings and that street is called Yan Dai Xiejie and we're gonna check it out. There should be a lot of cute stores and hopefully um, pretty buildings that we can check out. Let's go! I came to the right place. <laughs> oh man, let me find some tobacco pipes around here. Wow. Oh, that is the skewers we saw on every <laughs> YouTube vlog. Yeah, they're there. Land skewer. Cool. So this is the store I wanted to check out. It is a lot of like um, culture-related, tourist-related. Um, little arts and souvenirs. Ooh. Oh, this is what I want. Fresh magnets. I am crazy about fresh magnets, so that's what I want. And see, there are a lot more. Check out this one. This is the roof, and then it's got snow, and then the gate, all these. And then there is another one with no snow. And thousands of options. Buns, buns. Clay bun buns. See, that's how it's supposed to look. Oh, yeah. Cool. So we got this one. The roof with the snow. Ooh. Doorknobs. Ooh, ooh, more stores. It. I mean, it's not that crowded for a Friday evening. 
but I do see a lot more foreigners, so that is good. I'm getting PGO and I don't You're not gonna drink a PGO and walk around. Yes. So it's good. I like like we're opening up and attracting more more tourists. So that is good to see. Look what we found around the corner. Look at those people, they're on boats. That looks so chill. I like the willow trees. I know. I like the willow trees too. Look at this. This is totally different vibe after we walked out of that little district. That was a lot of shops. Now it's just people chilling. Go across. Yeah, listening to music. We're gonna go across this little bridge. Ooh, ooh, I wanna go over there. This is a nice spot. Someone can't wait for Pijo. Let's go. It's a random bar, hopefully it's good. And some sucker. Didi! Didi! Pijo. <laughs> we got alcohol, but this is awesome. I think um, I think that lake slash it's definitely not an ocean but the name has um, the character ocean in it I think it's called Shi Cha Hai that's actually the subway station we got off it is so chill over there people are just kayaking and they're like there are some family on a boat that's so nice uh, we're not getting on a boat today because we are thinking about getting on a boat with another friend tomorrow so we're gonna wait but this is a nice little walk. We're finally at the hot hot place. So this one's this one's a uh, Beijing specialty. It's a very old school hot spot. They have it in a copper hot pot with coal in the center. I'll show you in a little bit. This place is packed. So we're waiting for a small table. We got the water base. So the special part of this hot pot is you just use hot water. You just use water. It's not like Sichuan spicy hot pot or anything. No tomato soup base like in Haidi Lao. It's just water so that you can taste the fresh meat. And then there's also dipping sauce. And there's a station over there you can get your own. But this is the most traditional kind. So that's sesame, sesame sauce, a little bit oyster sauce. I think that's a little bit of leaf flour sauce. And then uh, some sort of tofu. It tastes like peanuts. And it, I think it has peanuts in there. So it's sesame and peanut sauce. First the lamb is that's that? shrimp. Shrimp paste. Look at this lamb. Sticky, sticky. I think that's how they show it's fresh. Cool. Now I'm gonna suck the chopstick. Do you want help? <laughs> uh, no, 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 don't put it all together. You have to do it. Try to do slice by slice, or it might stick together. Like this? Yeah, that's fine. That's good enough. Ooh. And here's our vegetable. We got some wood ear fungus. Yeah. And um, some spinach, corn. I don't know how to say this. And then cabbage, lettuce. Then we also got beef. Now I'm gonna do it because these super long chopsticks are kind of hard to use. And you need to be careful not to cut the meat on this because it'll get sticky. Like this. There we go. Woo! This looks pretty good. Oh. 
Very good.